It is the 19th of the 3rd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I know I took the weekend off, holiday weekend has a um, different meaning for me as a pagan, St. Patrick's Day, but my wife is Irish and uh, we celebrate it as usual. So uh, let's get started with Scott.net. Arizona cities buried in a rare snowstorm as much of the United States enjoys balmy weather. A winter storm and high winds struck parts of Arizona and New Mexico on Sunday, causing hazardous driving conditions, power outages, and school cancellations. We all know the story. They're saying they got up to 14 inches in places and uh, people without power and that kind of thing. Heavy winds and blowing dust forced the closure of parts of Interstate 10 in southern New Mexico due to low visibility. And this with uh, jet streams connected. And uh, we are dealing with that today. Uh, we're expecting severe thunderstorms here in Des Moines uh, this evening and uh, tomorrow. Extreme unprecedented heat wave reaches fifth day. Chicago. Records continue to fall during the mid-March heat wave as temperatures reached 80 degrees for the fifth straight day and could continue to streak through Wednesday. There's extremes in weather, but seeing something like this is impressive and unprecedented, said Richard Castro, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. A Sunday afternoon's 81 degree continued a record string of 80 degree days in March, which was previously just two, set in 1986. Uh, something very strange is afoot, and the jet streams are not doing what they normally should be doing right now, are they? Manitoba, Canada, heat melts more re uh, weather records. And again, coming out of Canada, they're having spring, early summer like weather. Um, Setting records across the board. We set records here in Iowa five consecutive days uh, Going on six and seven. They're saying that hasn't happened um, Since records began here and uh, the closest thing that happened was a three-day pull uh, back in the late 1800s uh, They've got a story the year of the earthquake a visual and auditory guide uh, definitely a must-see video uh, kind of opened your eyes to just how severe the earthquake season and uh, where the active areas are uh, around the world as far as seismically and kind of get a bigger picture of what's going on. Australia Cyclone uh, Lua hammers Pilbara region and they've got of course videos out on that as residents in Western Australia's Pilbara region assesses the damage caused by tropical cyclone Lua overnight. Queensland's Gulf communities are being warned to prepare for a cyclone heading their way. And there's another one out there uh, gearing up. A little 4.6 magnitude earthquake rumbles Haiti. Uh, and it was fairly shallow, three miles deep. Uh, scared a lot of people, of course, uh, two years ago. Port-au-Prince, Haiti is still a disaster zone. People living in tents. And uh, you can see, if you look into what's going on down in Haiti right now, uh, what you have to look forward to in any FEMA camp situation. Uh, St. Patrick's Day storms Missouri to Indiana. And again, these are some severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, the works up through the, the Midwest. It's, it's acting like summertime here already. And uh, people are saying it's the winter that never was. And we went straight from fall to summer. Alaska's largest city's eyes snow record, and again, Alaska's had the exact opposite, just tons and tons of snow. Uh, it's getting so deep, the moose are heading into town to get out of the deep snow kind of thing, and uh, they're setting records across the board as well. And of course, the global scientists are saying this is due to global warming. Monarch butterfly numbers take a hit. And uh, monarch butterflies have taken a hit this year, according to researchers who monitor the colorful insects numbers at their traditional overwintering grounds in a forest in central Mexico. And basically they're saying the numbers are way down and it could be to the severe drought through Texas. And of course these butterflies uh, migrate and breed, so it takes several generations to make the trip. And uh, it's a very cool thing indeed. Sad to see uh, the monarch butterflies are down. Not to count all the pesticides and everything else in the air. Horizontal tornado captured by amateur videographer, and these are one of those, uh, what are they calling them? The roll clouds, the big rolling clouds that, are, that roll across, they're getting pictures of. Uh, apparently this picture was taken back in uh, 2010, but it just goes to show this stuff happens all the, well, not all the time, but it, uh, strange things are happening. Uh, over to the extinction protocol, 14 more emissions reported in Mexico's 
um, that big volcano out by Mexico City and uh, they're saying a uh, volcano registered 14 exhaustions of low intensity accompanied by water vapor gas and low amplitude uh, spasmodic tremor reported in the National Center for Disaster Prevention. That's the latest report. The ministry saying uh, they explain the, the exhalations of greater intensity occurred yesterday. And although during the night a glow was observed in the crater, um, the other metrics do not show major change, so they're keeping it at yellow status, but they're definitely keeping an eye on this big volcano. Over to the RSOE, uh, let's see what they've got going on tonight. Uh, big avalanche in Norway due to their extreme weather and craziness. Uh, forest fires out of in China, in the province of Yunnan. Forest fires in Kenya, Africa, the Mount Kenya National Park area. Got a nuclear event out of Japan, a prefecture of Ibaraki, I-B-A-R-A-K-I. And um, basically uh, the power plant, they had a 1.5 metric tons of water, uh, radioactive water they were using to clean off uh, like clothing and stuff with spilled and they say it might have spilled into the sea it was during a transfer of the liquids from tanks kind of thing and uh, they're de decommissioning uh, that reactor extreme weather out of Yemen and the entire Middle East there's a big sandstorm going on right now uh, canceling snow uh, flights uh, I got reports out of Kuwait that uh, they abandoned one of their islands and uh, of course people with respiratory problems and that kind of thing uh, keeping people indoors and visibilities like below 300 meter, meters. Um, extreme weather reports coming out of the Midwest, uh, state of Nebraska, tornado reports, and of course that's that big storm rolling through uh, that just hit Arizona. It's turning into thunderstorm here in the Midwest. And of course the Arizona story, more reports out of Saudi Arabia the, the and Yemen uh, for that Big dust storm going on out there. Flooding in New Zealand, Northland wide. Uh, extreme weather there. Torrential downpours, that kind of thing. Uh, forest fires in Colorado in Eckley. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. I've got a bunch of stuff I want to cover on the nuclear end of this. Uh, we're going to go to Daily News Fukushima Diary. Um, foreign decimeters are banned to sell. Uh, one Japanese citizen tweeted saying they went in to get their, their dose meter uh, fixed and uh, the sales rep said they were no longer able to um, got my radar going um, no longer able to sell those uh, via the Japanese government because um, foreign dose meters aren't accurate and they don't want to create a panic kind of thing so you're only allowed to buy authorized dose meters in Japan now Reactor 4 heated before the tsunami attacked it. Uh, they've got pictures listed where there's smoke actually coming out of the Reactor 4 building before the reactor hit, and the damage is much more extensive uh, than they've ever told us. And uh, fallout in Fukushima picked up five times much as before. Um, basically, they're saying the accumulation is building. It's five times more radioactive there now than right after the nuclear accident. And uh, only five people attend an expl explanatory meeting to recruit nursery staff in the Fukushima prefecture. Uh, 27 hospitals got together and a big promotion trying to get nurses uh, because 20% uh, of the nurses left the prefecture after the accident. Uh, they're trying to recruit new nurses and only five people showed up. And a cement company in Okinawa will recycle radioactive debris. So coming to an apartment building near you if you happen to live in Japan. And uh, signs posted in Fukushima Prefecture don't play in the park for longer than one hour a day. <sighs> Why are they there at all? Because it's not cost effective to move millions of people. Radio, going over to the e, e News now, radiation checks of food in Japan are only 1% of what Belarus checked in the past year. So they are not checking the food for radioactive waste. Um, they're still making phone parts and computer parts in the, in the evacuation zone uh, because they don't have the industry to um, 
going to get the light off of me. They don't have the industry uh, anywhere else, and there's the only place that are making these little these little components that go inside your phones, and they're exporting those as well all over the world. Press conference part two faces scramble of large portions of audio censored. Local official says there's a lot of highly radioactive sus substances throughout the city. Safety measures must be conducted immediately. I did watch this video and there was a lot of it censored and basically they were explaining what they found. And they're showing pictures but it's all beep. And um, just what you did pick up from the meeting, uh, very scary things indeed. And uh, the people of Japan are in for a very long haul with this. Local officials detects 130 microsieverts per hour from black substance on roadside. Japan TV is actually starting to cover the mystery. We'd like to tell some serious news today. Seems the radioactive substances are combining together. We are seriously wondering how much radiation has been spread. And alpha radiation detected on school street in another city. Uh, trailer for major horror film set in Chernobyl just released. Written and created by hugely successful paranormal activity. Why is that story on there? And the United States is to burn one hundreds of tons of radioactive waste from Germany in Tennessee. So there are some career opportunities for you Tennesseans. And uh, yeah, the stories go on and on and on. Uh, the radiation's in the food, it's in the water, it's in the air, it's in the earth. Uh, there is no escape. Uh, when aerosol formed, when this thing first blew up, uh, they got reports now that um, they're actually saying that, yes, it went China Syndrome, and if they, that's the whole reason they were dumping hundreds of metric tons of salt water uh, into these holes was to prevent the big boom boom. But um, the insanity continues. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, attach your comments or video below. Enjoy what you can, everybody.